Hey, boys and girls, welcome to our Sunday morning service. And so glad that you joined us, that you took time out from your day to sit and, and just join in. I think you're going to like the Bible story today. We're talking about kindness and all of the ways that we can show kindness in our, in our lives every day. So you be thinking about that this week as you go through each day, different ways that you should, can show kindness to your mom and dad and even your animals, even your pets. Yeah. So um, it's been a good week for me, and I hope it's been a good week for you, and I hope we get to be back together again really soon. Hey, are you ready to do your Jesus cheer? Yeah, we can't leave that out. Okay, are you ready? Okay, here we go. What's this? It's a J, isn't it? I'm trying to trick you. Okay, so give me a J. J. Give me an E. E. Give me an S. S. Give me a U. U. Give me an S. S. And what's that spell? Jesus. And who loves you so much? Jesus. And who do you love? Jesus. All right. Okay. Thanks for joining me in on that. It's more fun when Sarah's here, isn't it? She's off seeing her sister out west. I don't blame her. They may have snow out there, though. I don't know. Okay, so we've got a new memory verse today. We're going to finish out the next couple, three weeks with this. And I'm hoping that by the time we get through in the next couple of weeks, that we get to be back together. And when you come back in here, I'm going to have this over on the table with a bunch of markers. And you can decorate it all up because you can see I've only got one little teeny weeny flower there. So it needs decorated up, give it a lot of color. But our new memory, memory verse is, God will help you. And maybe this week he's going to help you be kind to others, okay? He'll help you in all kinds of ways. So let's say it together, okay? God will help you. And it comes from 1 Chronicles 12th chapter, 18th verse. And let's put some motions to it, all right? God will help you. Simple motions. God will help you. All right. Good job. So you work on that one. See if you can share that memory verse with your mom and dad and some friends this week, okay? We are ready for worship, and we've got two new songs, so you enjoy them. Get up and dance.
boys and girls. Look where we're at. Oh, look who's here with us today. It's Daffodil. Look, teacher, I have something to show you. <laughs> Hi, Daffodil. Tell me what you've got here. This is my con, con uh, I mean, commotion. Uh, well, I don't remember the right word. Okay, maybe it's collection. That's got a collection. right. That's my collection. Okay, I see. It looks interesting in there. What are these things that you've collected? You can't tell? Well, let me look. Let me see here. What do you got in here? Hmm. Maybe you could explain all these things to us. Yeah. Uh, and tell us why you're collecting these things. This is my nice, shiny rock. Yeah. I found it at the edge of the water. <laughs> and why'd you want to collect this? Because it's shiny. And shiny things make me glad. Oh, uh, yeah, I like shiny things too. Sometimes I keep shiny rocks and shiny jewelry and stuff like that. Yeah. So maybe you like. Ooh. My flowers. <laughs> it reminds me of my mom, Daisy Duck. And Aww. she makes me glad as well. Aww. Well, that makes sense. So, what about this? piece of oh it's bread oh it's kind of hard well i'm glad when people bring bread to the pond it's a special treat that makes me glad too i see i bet it does oh these things are neat you know what all this it, re it reminds me of all the ways that god loves us and helps us like he gives us food to eat maybe not hard bread like this but he gives us food to eat and he gives us people to love us, like your mommy. And yeah, and pretty things, like shiny rocks. Yeah. So I have a good concert, uh, um, collection. Um, collection. Yeah, collection. I mean a collection. Yeah. It's good, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it's good. It's really good. And it's, it's a way of remembering how much God loves us and helps us and likes to give us good things. Well, I think it's time for me to go collect more things. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Daffodil. You have fun with your collection, okay? And we'll be right back. Well, it's time for Bible story, and that's always a good time, isn't it? Um, our Bible story today continues on with the news of the disciples. They are still traveling from town to town, telling everybody about Jesus and how to live for him and believing, you know, that he's alive and, and his Holy Spirit can live in them if they, if they will believe in him. So they're traveling from town to town. And we've been talking a lot about Paul lately, but today we're going to switch to another disciple. His name is Peter. And he's, he's a rambunctious disciple. He's got a lot of spunk. And he's, in, uh, he's close to a town named Jop Joppa, which is where our story is centers today. So um, this is kind of a story about how God did a miracle through Peter. We always want to remember that God's the one that does the miracles, not the people. He uses us to to get his miracles happen, happening. But God is the one that performs the miracles. And so we're, we're in a town called Joppa, and there's a lady that lives there. Her name is Dorcas. And God has really blessed Dorcas with the gift of kindness and a gift of being able to sew and to make things for people. And you see today I've brought some bolts of cloth um, all bright collars. I don't know if these are the kind of collars that Dorcas would have used, but they wrap material all up in it, and then she just she would just unfold whatever kind of material was needed at the time and cut out a pattern and sew it up for people, and then she would turn it into like a skirt or a top. And they probably wouldn't look like this. These are modern day clothes, 
they would look more like clothes that you know from Bib from Bible times. But she did it because she wanted to help people who really struggled, poor people who just had not much of anything. And she blessed them with making clothes for them. And they loved her. And everybody loved her because she was kind to everyone. Well, our story doesn't end, it doesn't start really, really good because Dorcas gets really sick. And soon after that, she dies. And the people are so sad because they, they loved her so much. And um, they were just so saddened by it. And one of the people there, they gathered when, when Dorcas died, they gathered uh, in the house where Dorcas lived. And they remembered that Peter was close by. He was close by in the town telling people about Jesus. And they said, why don't we just go get Peter and have him come be with us? And maybe there's something he could do or just let's just go get him. So a couple of the guys went and they got Peter and they, um, they talked on the way back, their journey back, walking back to where Dorcas was. And they told Peter all about all of the ways that Dorcas had showed kindness to all of the people by sewing and making clothes and just loving others. And so when they got there, they went on in the upstairs room. That's where Dorcas was at. And they were crying and they were all sad. And um, Peter talked to them for a little bit. And then he said, you know, I'd like to just, he kindly asked them all to just leave the room for a little bit. And so they did. They went downstairs. And so this just left Peter with, with Dorcas's body. And so Peter, after everyone had gone, Peter got down on his knees and he prayed to God. And after he prayed, he turned to Dorcas's body and he said, Dorcas, get up. And when he said that, Dorcas opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. And God had answered Peter's prayer by making Dorcas alive again. Peter took her gently by the hand and helped her to stand on her feet. And then Peter opened the door and he called everybody back up into the room. And the people came up and um, they saw her there, and they were overjoyed when they saw that Dorcas was alive. And they smiled, and they were happy, and they were celebrating. So God had truly done a miracle by using the faith that Peter had and the prayer that Peter gave to bring Dorcas back to life. And, you know, we, got, we always have to remember in situations like this that God is the one that does miracles. And he uses the faith of people like you and me, even the faith of a child. God knows. He hears your prayers and he, he believes in your faith and your trust in him. And so that brings us to the point where we want to put our faith and our trust in God. We want to live our lives like Dorcas did, showing kindness to others, and like Peter did, putting our faith in him and believing that God can do what he says he can do. And he is a God that we can love every day because he loves us back, right? So let's thank God, okay? Lord Jesus, we thank you for this miracle that you have shared in your word and recorded of Dorcas's life and the miracle that you performed through P Peter. Father, help each one of these boys and girls and moms and dads to hold on to our faith and our trust as we live each day for you. We love you and give you praise, Jesus. In your name, amen. 
Okay, so our time has ended for our Sunday morning get together and hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the Bible story and that crazy daffodil. Maybe you can get outside this week and find you a concoction or a commotion or a Oh, collection. Yeah, there you go. See what you can collect this week. Take you a little basket or a box or something and just collect all kinds of cool stuff. And then you can show your mom and dad. They'll, I'm sure they'll be anxious to see it all, hear about it all. All these cool things God gives us to enjoy, right? Okay, so show kindness this week. Let me think a couple of things you might be able to do to show kindness. Hmm. You could help mom and dad make your bed. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Maybe set the table. Yeah, or just, you know, give them hugs and kisses. That's helping. That could put them in a really good mood. Okay, well, whatever you do this week, enjoy it. Remember that God loves you so much, and we're hoping to get back together again really, really soon. Um, we have a couple of attachments that you can download, and one is a color page, and this shows... Dorcas sitting up, and here's Peter, and he's done that miracle healing, and here's our story on the back that mom or dad can share with you again. And then we got a little activity. It's almost like one of those sewing cards, and maybe mom, and, mom or dad can just cut out a little rough little uh, cloak or cloth or whatever dress you want to call it and punch holes in it and then give you a piece of yarn and you can just wrap tape around it and just sew that it'll be fun you can just make a little just like dorcas used to do you can just sew that right up it'll be fun so enjoy your week and we will see you again wednesday and let me pray for you before we go okay all right father god we just thank you for this time you've given us Lord, you are so precious to us. We love you so much. We thank you for the protection you've given us and the provision that you give us every day and how you bless our lives. Lord, continue to be with these boys and girls. Keep them safe and just give them great joy in, in their lives each day. We love you and it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Bye-bye.